So what we have behind us here is the emulator. It's uh, the world's first multi-touch DJ uh, system. Basically, it's a MIDI controller for any MIDI software. And what we've got here is, uh, this is the 42-inch uh, version. It's run on infrared LEDs, so the LEDs go from the bottom and the side, and they're picked up on the, the top and the left. And that creates a grid pattern and figures out where your fingers are. So you can, you can do it, and it's multi-touch, so you can have up to six touch points at any given time. And it's an overlay right now for Tractor. Can you just show Tractor screen for a second? So Tractor's running underneath, and it's a MIDI controller controlling Tractor. So what we've done now, the modular version will be out in two weeks, and the modular version will be for any MIDI software. So you'll be able to create your own layout and then MIDI map it to whatever software. Um, the key to, to our software is that you can cut holes in it to the underlying software. So Ableton or Tractor, you want to be able to see the waveforms or your buttons and everything. You want to be able to still see the interaction underneath, but you want to be able to control it. So we got rid of all the things that you don't really need to touch, and that's where you can put your multi-touch uh, pieces. Um, the, retro projection, the retro projection part of the screen is not really you know, novel. It's novel in the use that we're, we're doing here, but you know, uh, retail stores have been doing retro projection for windows and things like that. But this gives the, the audience a good perspective. And the, the cool thing is we're setting up right now with, uh, you know, we've got a DJ set up here, but we're actually setting it up for Resolume for a video, uh, a DJ in the middle, and then a lighting controller on the other side. So we'll have three of these screens across the stage. Your lighting guy is now on stage, your video guy is on stage, instead of being either front of house or, you know, somewhere hidden behind a stack of speakers. So it gives, uh, it gives the DJ a lot more performance aspects. You can write notes to the crowd. Just put Plaza 2011. <laughs> and you can invert it for the crowd to see, you know. When you're thirsty, you can say more beer. And you can also put photos up. You can have photos come up on the screen. So you can manipulate photos of, you know, people in the crowd. You can also link this to the projector behind you, so you can the whole club or whatever can see what you're doing, which is kind of a nice feature. Um, and it just gives you more of a performance aspect to, to what you're doing from that. We also have a, a smaller version that's uh, basically a multi-touch mixing desk. So it's a mixing desk that's fully multi-touch uh, for pro audio things. You can create your own faders, knobs. With the modular software, you just drag and drop. So you say, I want a circle, I want it this big, I want it to say, go and I want a green. And from there, you just MIDI map what you want it to control. And it's simple, take you about an hour to, to make a layout. And then there's uh, 18 different pages. So there's three pages of six pages, or six layers. So you can have the one with the, the track, go to track search for a second. So that's a separate page. Even though it, it, up here stays the same, it's a separate page altogether. So you can have up to 18 different pages of different things you want to do. So, I, I mean, as far as innovation is concerned, it's a completely new way of, it's replacing hardware on a big touch screen. I, I, I've seen a lot of things in my lifetime. I've played with a lot of MIDI controllers, a lot of mixers, and everything's the same repackaged in a different format. And this takes it to a, a different level altogether. So, okay. can you turn it down a bit? Is there lighting control software already for it? Well, it, it's MIDI, so oh. any MIDI-based lighting software, you could use Light Jockey, whatever, it's just a multi-touch screen, so. So explain the integration between this and the DJ software that you're using now. So right now, it's, just put, put out Tractor for a second. So right now, Tractor's running underneath. We cut windows so you can see the, the valuable Literally, parts. This software is like um, a layer on top. And with holes cut out. Exactly. Out. The, the key is the holes. I mean, the holes are essential because if you need to see things that are going underneath, we could replicate that, but you'd run into you know issues with copyright and you know uh, CPU usage would be massive because you'd have the underlying program running as well as that. So this is a cut out window. Exactly. And if you do this. You can actually see that I've decreased that. So you could actually make the cutout only that big and, and increase the space that much more with the modular version. So for example, this here, I could actually have it um, smaller. So I don't, need the, I don't need to see all that information. I just need to see that, for example. And then I can make, the, make this window smaller, make more buttons or bigger buttons or whatever. So you can design your own layout then? Completely customizable for your layouts, yeah. Which is really neat, and you can—it won't just work for Tractor, Ableton, Tractor, 
um, Resolume, Light Jockey, Pro Tools, whatever, the sky's the limit. I mean, Pro Tools would be limited because, you know, people have their ways. What's the limit to the size of the screen? Uh, the limit to the size of the screen is how big you are. I mean, we sell 42 and 46. Uh, 46 is the, <laughs> it's a stupid sizing because it's the biggest one that'll fit in the back of a taxi cab. <laughs> I know from experience. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Couple two together, so they're running together. You can, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can run Ableton on one and Tractor on another, and, and MIDI time code them together. Absolutely. We haven't done that yet, and we're still, in, we're still. Figuring this out, the company's only a year old, so we've. There's no limit to the amount of surface that you can have. Really? No. I mean, right now, the, the next one we're, we're bringing out is obviously the smaller one, but we also have a dual LED version. So it's instead of using the projection, which is a bit finicky, and if it moves, if it gets bumped, it's, it's not ideal. The dual LEDs is amazing because it's LED TVs back to back. It's nice and bright and crisp and clear. You don't get the shadows, you don't, you know, you don't get that aspect, but I think people will will accept the trade-off because this is your weak point right here and, and I think you know in the future for bigger installs you want something that's more robust. Any other questions? Uh, the base model and do you want it in dollars or pounds or does it matter? Uh, the base model the 42 6 touch is uh, 5500 and the six, uh, 46 6 touch is 6000 or just you would need the underlying software, so whatever software you want to use, Tractor, Ableton, whatever, you'd need to purchase that. You'd need a sound card and a computer. So it comes with the projector, the stand, and the screen, and the software. And the software, because we decided CDs are a little bit obsolete, our software comes like this. What was the price again? Uh, 5500 and 6000 And the software is lifetime upgrades too, so. And that, is that pounds? Uh, that's dollars, dollars, US, uh, Canadian dollars. Yeah, of course you can.